everybody is Ken here um so where I'm at right now is I'm in the relaxation room in the wellness center in the recreational wellness center that's on CSU East Bay and so part of the reason why I want to do this vlog is so I can talk to you all a little bit about the relaxation room and a lot of the stuff that they offer at the recreation and wellness center as well as give you all an update about myself so if we start off I'll give an update about myself so right now it's about late 80s or 90s out there today really hot on top of that I hiked in the morning with my classmates so I'm pretty tired right now and I'm just really surprised at just how hot it is as it was just so hot today that the AC couldn't in one of the classrooms I was in couldn't even keep up to really counteract the amount of heat that was coming in and so I just ended up feeling very drained, feeling tired, and honestly, I don't feel like driving home right now. So <laughs> I, I, I'm really not in this weather right now. So I'm probably gonna wait it out until maybe it gets a little bit cooler and also traffic dies down. So that I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, I wanna talk about the relaxation room. So the relaxation room is located in the Recreation and Wellness Center. And the way it works is that it's on the first floor, I believe. Yeah, first floor. And you gotta go look into the one in the center. So it's down the hallway where the locker rooms are. So there's an entrance that'll take you to the wellness center. And then from there, you can go to some of the people supervising at the wellness center and then ask them if you could rent the relaxation room. And the way it works is that you make an appointment using your Bay card or your ID card, school ID card and you have up to 45 minutes to have this wonderful space right here to just relax and have a quiet little space for yourself. And so I'm gonna show you a little bit around to this relaxation room. So right now it's pretty nice. The lighting's pretty dim. Um, what else is here? There's some light AC around here. Um, <laughs> And it looks like there's some little pouches that you could sleep on. And it's pretty nice. Um, FYI, they only allow one person in here. So if you're trying to have a little party here, they don't allow that. But it's a good place though, especially if you need time to meditate and to essentially have a space for yourself, especially after a long, hard day or just want to meditate or all that. And so pretty good place highly recommend it you want to check it out um, as right now I'm gonna start meditating in a, in a couple of minutes so yeah so that's the relaxation room so it's a nice wonderful space for people to take a break from the, from the day and to just wind down and just maybe sleep in a little bit while in the middle of the day which you can get by coming here to the wellness center using your bay card id card to rent the room assuming that it's not booked yet and only one person can book at a time and you have up to 45 minutes to do whatever you need to do in the re relaxation room so anyway i'm going to meditate right now and so thank you all for listening and hope you all stay tuned for the next vlog so take care all right, everybody, so I just finished using the relaxation room and it's been pretty good. Um, what I did was I did three rounds of the Wim Hof breathing technique, which for those of you who don't know, how it works is that you would breathe deeply in and out 30 times, 30 to 40 times. And then on that last breath, you let all the air out and then you hold your breath as long as you can. Ideally, you wanna be lying down, um, you know, have your eyes closed so, and sit somewhere comfortable and cool and then you hold your breath as long as you can and until you get that gasp reflex which is this reflex that happens when your body is essentially screaming for air and then you feel this pressure building up to the point where you have to breathe and then when you do that, you breathe in, you hold for 15 seconds and then you let it out and then I would do this process about three times and it's been a very helpful method for me though not just because of some of the health benefits that comes with it especially dealing with nasal congestion um, inflammation 
and a lot of other benefits that have to do with the boosting the immune system but it's just been a natural way for me to relax myself and wind down after a long day or to warm myself up for the day so if you're interested check out the Wim Hof method it's been very helpful to me and I hope you all enjoy it so anyway I did the Wim Hof method for about um, yeah the whole time I was in the relaxation room so it's been pretty good so I really made use of that it was 45 40 45 minutes that I spent in the relaxation room okay and um, what is it okay so after I finished up my time in the relaxation room there is a massage chair that you can find in the wellness center especially in the lobby area where if you go into the recreation wellness center um, there's this big room where there's some couches you sit on and then there are two massage chairs in the middle of the room and they're free to use you just go there when there's no one using him and then I essentially what I did after I did the relaxation room I went to the massage chair and I got myself a 10 minute you know massage and it's been pretty good actually Honestly, I think it's just really fantastic that CSU East Bay has been investing a lot in a lot of mental health resources and physical health resources as well. As I think that a lot of people sometimes forget is that at the end of the day, we're all human beings too. You know, especially when you have days where homework and class seems to envelop so much of your life that you don't get time for yourself. And when you're doing a busy workload, especially if like say full time and probably working on the side and probably perhaps joining clubs or a, a lot of the extracurricular activities that you might be doing as a student there is potential for burnout and while there might be opportunities for social engagement sometimes there's value in taking care of yourself and just having that space for yourself and this is something that I care about a lot as a student is because for me I'm I'm, I'm pretty much an introvert in that I, I'm not necessarily shy per se, but rather I'm very intentional with my time. So I only hang out with people if I feel like I have the energy to hang out with them and also if I have the interest to hang out with them. And this isn't meant to just cut myself off from people, it's just that I, when it comes to just my own personal well-being, I need to consider my own personal space and boundaries before I do any of that. As doing these things take time, and take a lot of energy out of me and I need to be intentional with my how much time I'm spending doing a lot of things and making sure that I'm making room for self-care no matter what I'm doing so I think it's really fantastic that East Bay is doing all that and it kind of does make sense especially during the time of the pandemic where you have a lot of students who are locked down and not able to do so much and sometimes a lot of that can create a lot of loneliness and isolation just really depressing especially with also on top of a lot of job opportunities being shut down because of COVID and all of that so it's really fantastic that East Bay is doing it and I know that for some schools out there they do already have these services but I'm just really fascinated by, by it because I've been to some schools where they don't actually have these robust services available for students to access and while isn't it entirely necessary for students to thrive, I mean, there are other ways people can thrive without these services, sort of, to some extent. I think it really adds a lot to the student experience to be able to have all these wonderful opportunities to really take care of your physical health and your mental health and just a lot of things that are necessary for your own self-care. So that way you get the care you need to recharge and get back in the game. So I want to give a shout out to CSU Ace Bay on that note. So, Pretty good stuff, by the way. Um, what else? Yeah, um, I guess that's pretty much it. This has kind of been a rather slow day for me. So a lot of what I've been talking about has to do with a lot of personal health issues and just talk to you about some opportunities that you can take advantage of as a student here in regards to physical health, mental health, and a lot of things that I think are really worth mentioning. So I guess this would be, but I mean, I could talk talk more, but I'm a little tired right now and 
hope you all find this video helpful or, or, under, or relatable in some way or another. So, anyway, I'm going to end it right now. Got to get home and hope you all enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for the next box. So, take care, stay safe, and have a good rest of the semester. Take care.